a video for of torque converter clutch stuff. Um, this transmission, this new transmission, shifts great. Downshifts, good. Upshifts really fast. Firm feels awesome. Last transmission was actually very close to this. It did pretty good. This one's a little bit better being new. But uh, the last one at 147,000 miles was doing great. Really wish I didn't have to bought a new one, buy a new one, because I really think it would have lasted a lot longer. But I wanted to do. I'm gonna do it here in a second. I'm gonna hammer on this thing at 45, 50 miles an hour, and see how it downshifts and goes with the torque converter on. It always downshifts really well, but can tell that it's doing a ton of things at once. Oh, another thing is the braking with the converter off is stronger, considerably stronger. You have to use less pedal effort to slow down the truck and it's also smoother. I like it quite a bit. Yeah. And then I like the way it shifts with the torque converter off. It's faster, smoother, sounds more normal. But as I was talking about a minute ago, when it downshifts with the torque converter on, you can tell that it downshifts, pulls timing, pulls throttle, brings timing and throttle back in in the torque converter and tries to do all those things at once. And I think it does a really good job of doing all those things at once, but how good of a job can be done doing that many things at once, you know? So, see how it downshifts with the torque converter off, the uh, torque converter clutch off. I'm gonna do it 50 miles an hour. Let's see what it does. second gear just now and I felt it hit the gear and then I felt another little bump of bringing power back in so I, I guess that's the torque management you know, doing that so maybe it has nothing to do with the converter clutch like I thought it might.